All right, let's do this. Do you think what's currently happening right now in the Canadian real estate market with the market correcting and crashing in some areas is going to be as bad as it was in 2008? Before I go any further, I want to apologize about the clickbaitiness uh, of this headline that got you here, but I wanted you to come here and all the videos that I make on this channel, when I'm thinking about what I'm going to say, I'm thinking about talking to one person directly. So in this video, I'm going to talk between me and you and I'm going to share my thoughts why I don't think what's happening right now is anywhere close to what happened in 2008. I'm going to do my absolute best to try and take my real estate hat off and just think logically here. And I'd love to know what you think. So just before we get started in this video, comment down below, is 2022 what's happening with housing prices? Is it going to be as bad as what happened in 2008? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tom Story. I run a real estate team here in the city of Toronto. And if you watch this video and you gain an ounce of value from it, all I ask in return is that you give this video a thumbs up so more awesome people like you will see it. And if you want to join this community, my goal is still to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I think it's totally doable. and I'd love to have you as a part of the community. And lastly, if you watch this video and you do think that you want to get into the market or out of the market or just have questions about what's going on, you can go into the first link in the description. You can book a buyer call directly with me, a seller call or a call to chat about the market. And I should start this video by saying uh, that I am certainly not an economist. Uh, I am a real estate agent. My crystal ball is as foggy as everybody else's right now. I do not know what's going to happen. Nobody knows what's going to happen. And if they tell you they know what's going to happen, they're taking a wild guess or they are making it up. What I do have that's a little bit different from people that just look at numbers is I have you know day-to-day -day communication with active buyers and sellers. And I'm trying to get a sense right now of the conversations that I'm having with consumers consumer confidence, what's actually going on out there. We also need to discuss the fact that 2008 in Toronto was not what happened in the States. In 2008 in Toronto, sales were significantly down. Uh, people were not giving away properties. And year over year from 2007, the market was actually up like just below 1%. So we didn't crash off just sales absolutely paused because everyone was worried. And I think 2008 and now is an easy comparison because there's uncertainty in the market. And when there's uncertainty in the market, we have to get a sense of what could happen. It's easy to look at what is potentially happening now and compare it to something that happened just over a decade ago. The first point I want to bring up at why I don't think the market is anywhere near what happened in 2008 is active listings. So I did the news this morning on CTV. And what a lot of people don't know is when I go do those live news segments, I don't know what they're going to ask me. So I prepare myself beforehand with some potential questions that I think they could ask based on the article that's come out that they're interviewing me about. And one of the ones for this was I looked at active listings. So right now in the city of Toronto, there's like 13,000 active listings, which is significantly higher than it was at the last year. But I thought, okay, well, why don't I take a look back? Because it's public data. You can type in Treb Market Watch to Google right now, and you can go look at any of the previous months from the last you know, 20 years to see exactly what happened with sales, average price, and active inventory. So I did that. And what I found is that there was 25,000 active listings in 2008 in August compared to today, 13,000. So inventory wise, we are still fundamentally in a balanced market across the GTA. There are certain pockets that are getting closer to a buyer's market, but we are not even close to what it was previously. So that's kind of thought number one. Thought number two is mortgages. Um, so in 2008, it was a lot more simple to get a mortgage. There was no stress test. There was longer amortizations, especially what was going on in the States. You could buy properties with 0% down and people had six houses and they were all empty and that was not good. It's certainly not like that today. And I can tell you from personal experience, I'm currently, I just got approved for a mortgage because I sold one of my condos and I'm buying a house. And it was a bit more complicated for me because I had multiple properties, but it was not easy. They asked for absolutely everything from me. Like, other than getting the rights for like naming rights for my next child, they basically got everything I possibly had. And like I had my ducks in a row. It was very difficult to get that approval. I know a lot of people will say like, oh, Tom, there's all this mortgage fraud going on. Maybe there is. I don't know. I'm not a part of that. I don't see what goes on the back end because I'm not a mortgage broker. That's a question for somebody else. But in terms of doing it the right way, trying to get approved for a property that you can buy, it's not easy. And they're not just giving away money. The stress test is way higher than it used to be based on where interest rates are at today. You're getting you know, approved at like 7%, even if your rate's at 5% because it's two points higher. 
I don't know if that's going to go anywhere. So the point I'm trying to make here is it, it is difficult to get a mortgage. And that is a good thing. That actually gives me some confidence in the market because even people that bought in the peak of the market, it wasn't easy to get that mortgage. And if they took a variable rate, we're about to be at a point where that variable rate that they took is going to get close to what they were stressed at. And hopefully mathematically, they're going to be okay to make their payments. So my first point is active inventory is half what it was in 2008. My second point is that it is not easy to get a mortgage. In fact, it's very difficult to get a mortgage. That's why a lot of people are now renting and we've seen rental prices skyrocket, right? My third point is this, and I touched on this at the beginning of the video. I am actively having conversations with buyers and sellers right now, and the demand in terms of appointments being booked with me hasn't actually changed from earlier in the year. It just takes longer. So you put a property on the market, it takes four to five times longer to sell than it used to at a much lower price, obviously. And the buyers that we're working with, they're taking longer, not because what they want doesn't exist because they, they have way more options, right? So I'm seeing that there are consumers out there that want to make this happen. And although rates are changing and, and the market's changing right now, people need to live somewhere. And you basically have three options, right? You can own your property, you can rent a property, or you could you know, live with family or friends for free if, if you have that available to you. Those are the three options. So right now in my day-to-day -day business, working with a team that does well over 100 transactions a year, people want to move. People want to move regardless of everything else happening. I can't comment on how that was in 2008 because I was not a real estate agent in 2008, but I have a feeling the consumer confidence is a lot higher now, even with interest rates where they are compared to where it was in 2008. But I'd love to know your opinion. These are just my thoughts. I might not be right. I could be totally wrong. And if I am, I'm happy to admit it, but you know, time will tell. So I'd love to know your comments below. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? You know, Is the market really that bad or is this just par for the course and we needed this because the two years before it were so crazy. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Tom Story and remember, home is where your story begins.